are humans an invasive species? You would think it's a relatively simple question, as a lot of people would just argue, yes, we are, or even, how can we not be? Um, but there are a lot of people that argue the other side of it and say that we're not, which tends to lean on a technicality of how we define things, but I'll leave that for later in the video when I get to the definitions part. But for now though, I actually don't think it's helpful to focus on it as a yes or no question. I think it's more helpful to focus on what we do with the question, because I think that defining or labeling a species as invasive or dangerous, again, we'll get to the definitions, I think can be useful or really harmful for how we treat that animal or species or even ourselves. So when I think about why we're asking that question or how we label ourselves or how we label other species that move into an area and dominate, I think really is the point here that we're trying to ultimately have positive change. And if so, should we start reframing our perspective on this? So this thought came to mind because I was painting this red squirrel and it reminded me of the quite familiar story of why we here in the UK don't have as many red squirrels and are kind of overrun with grey squirrels. From around the late 1800s to early 1900s, grey squirrels were actually brought over from the US all the way to here in the UK where they were actually brought in just to decorate wealthy homes and gardens but naturally these things can't be contained and they were exposed to local environments and ecosystems and began to dominate. And basically they would just outcompete their competition, red squirrels, for food. They would destroy the environments by kind of tearing apart tree bark and, and homes. But then they also brought with them a disease which was squirrel pox. And the grey squirrels would carry the disease but weren't affected by it. But they would spread that to the red squirrels who were affected by it and the population started to die out. But like I said, the greys were brought over, they didn't swim over here across the Atlantic by themselves, which is an important point because of how we label them and now treat them. So we label them as a non-native invasive species and we have started taking actions towards stopping them from being so dominant in their environments by sterilizing them. And they're not the only types of non-native invasive species that get treated this way. Some are treated worse and are just completely cold. Now we have this definition problem and the problem is that the language that we use basically shapes how we start to treat others and ourselves. And if we start to label animals as invasive and dominant and that they shouldn't be there, we can start to treat them in really negative ways as well as treating ourselves and each other in those ways, which again is why I think it's not helpful to just say if humans are invasive or non-invasive. But let's go over the definitions first. Native means a species that originated and developed in its surrounding habitat and has adapted to living in that particular environment. Non-native is a species that originated somewhere other than its current location and has been introduced to the area where it now lives. And here's the difference. Invasive is a species of plant or animal that outcompetes other species causing damage to its ecosystem. So the definitions there I think are really important because what we can say is that just because a species is non-native, which means it was introduced to a new area, it doesn't mean it's invasive. It can just slot in and fit right in with the ecosystem itself. But some species that are introduced will be invasive, which means that they won't really have any animals or plants that can predate on them so they won't have any natural predators they won't be affected by the diseases in the area and they might even bring others in themselves ultimately we're making a distinction between two things plants or animals that can be introduced into a new environment and just fit in compared to plants or animals that will be introduced to an environment and start to dominate at the expense of others so i can already imagine your thoughts are going down the path that i went down which was how can we not be based on that definition or those understandings? Because we move into spaces and environments and we dominate at the expense of others. But like I said, there is a definition problem. So there is a Smithsonian article, which I'll link as well, that summarizes this kind of again based on a technicality. So the word introduce is quite important in this because it's used in the sense that we as humans are the ones that introduce the animals into new environments or the new plants into new environments and then it is those that dominate but we can't include ourselves in those 
because we are the ones to introduce. We do it consciously and actively, and we have the ability to stop or change those things. But the species of plants or animals that move into these new environments and dominate and become invasive, they do this based on instinct or against their own will because they're brought in by us. So although we do have a major impact on the environments that we move into, and we are the kind of arbiters or the main cause of all of the problems that invasive species produce, we technically don't really fit in the category of an invasive species. I would say that we're actually a little bit more than that. Now, here's the kind of point that I want to make, which is I think we should be creating a new category to describe our impact on these environments. And not just because it's nice to give new names to things, but because I think the argument of labeling us as invasive and using kind of aggressive language to blame and criticize and even criminalize people for their impact, I don't think it gets us the results that we want. I think it feels good and sometimes it is even just and accurate to criticize us and our own behaviors and other behaviors in that way. But I don't think it gets us the result that we want, which is a positive change. So here's my thought on why I think it's not helpful to call ourselves invasive species and also why we shouldn't call plants and other animals invasive species too. I think the thoughts we have that are attached to that word and that label mean that we frame an invasive species as the enemy. I think when we do that, it gives us license to justify actions like killing or sterilizing or just mistreating a group of animals or a species in an area. I think the reason we don't want to call ourselves an invasive species is because it's not nice to think of ourselves as the enemy or the bad guy. I think when people do things like dominate an area or make changes that benefit themselves, I think they do so with the understanding that they are the good guy, that it's their ideology and that they want to do things that work for them. Yes, it's going to be more conscious than grey squirrels trying to survive, but I think it probably stems from the same instinctive place. I think, instead, it would be more helpful to reframe and label ourselves differently. Not to avoid accountability, to accept that we do influence our ecosystems and environments, and we do so in negative ways, but to reframe us in a way that allows us to see ourselves as in control of our environment and our decisions. I think it would be more helpful to call us something like eco-architects, a term away from good or bad and just frames us as what we are, a species that can change things on a grand scale that can benefit ourselves and others and can also do a lot of harm too. But I'd like to know what you think. Do you think we are an invasive species or not or we need to be considered as something completely different? Let me know and now hopefully you know a little bit more about invasive species and squirrels.